after you have these things, uh, you need to cut the aloe vera leaves, uh, clean them and remove the dirt and, and leave the leaves in a little bowl in the container for 10 to 15 minutes. After doing this, you need to remove the latex because this will damage your skin. Uh, you need to do this, do this washing it and all the remains uh, will go and you can do it with the water or the fruit peeler. After doing this, uh, you will see the natural gel that aloe vera has. With your spoon, uh, you take it to your blender and you should be careful not to put any pieces of the aloe vera leaf there. Uh, blend the gel until it's uh, strong and liquid liquefied, which should only take a few seconds. Uh, once you do this, you need to ha you will have your aloe vera gel. Uh, the time that it will take to you would be like between 20 and 30 minutes. You can store it in your refrigerator and it will work perfectly for one week. Active ingredient. More than 75 ingredients from mineral gel have been identified including vitamins, minerals, enzymes, sugars, anthroquinones or phenolic compounds, lignin, saponins, sterols, amino acids and salicylic acid. One of the active ingredients of the aloe vera is acemanum. The reduction of skin pain is the one we chose, because this one can be cured with aloe vera gel. The quality and effectiveness of aloe gel is conditioned by its content and composition in polysaccharides. Ace Manan is a polysaccharide located within the protoplast of the aloe vera parenchyma cells. Ace Manan is effective in reducing both ulcer size and associated pain. Ace Manan has many different properties, such as osteogenic, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. These properties that the polysaccharide has are the ones that accelerate the healing process for your skin and makes it so efficient. Also, it has antiviral, anti-tumor activities that help to improve immune responses.